my brothers and sisters in Christ. Before we start with today's reflection, I would like us to ask ourselves this question. How do we endure the hardships we face in our lifetime? And I would say, let us bear the cross to wear the crown, which will be our theme for today's reflection. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's reflection taken from the Gospel of St. Mark, I would like us to focus more primarily on one thing, which is the cross. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That is Mark 8, verse 34. In this, Jesus, in, this, in this way, Jesus indicates the way of true disciple, showing two attitudes. And the first is to renounce oneself, which does not mean a superficial change, but a conversion, a reversal of mentality and of values. The second attitude is that of taking up one's own cross. It is not just a matter of patiently enduring daily tribulations, but of bearing with pain, with faith and responsibility, that part of toil and that part of suffering that the struggle against evil entails. The life of Christians is always a struggle. Hence, we should always bear the cross to wear the crown. Jesus goes one step further to remind his followers that the cross is an essential part of Christian living. Without Christ and his cross, there can be no Christian faith or Christian life. In today's Gospel, Jesus teaches us that the true fulfillment of life as a follower of Christ comes by emptying oneself and not by any other conscious effort at self-fulfillment. We profit most by seeking less and we gain by giving most. Thus, the teaching of the cross actually in life is the way of love, the sole criterion of true Christian life. So today we are supposed to examine ourselves, examine our lives in order to see as to what is my attitude towards crosses, what is my attitude towards pain, what is my attitude towards hardships. We should remind ourselves that there is no crown without a cross and there is no Easter Sunday without a Good Friday. And the Bible says that the life of Christians is a military undertaking, fighting against evil, fighting against evil spirit. Thus the task of taking up at the cross becomes participating with Christ in the salvation of the world. Hence, we should bear the cross to wear the crown. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, let us embrace our crosses, for by doing that we remain faithful and hopeful, for because the good Lord will take us out of the struggles we found ourselves in. God does not give us that which is beyond our capacity and capability. Therefore, let us be bearers of our own crosses, for the one whom we believe in has shown us that it is possible to overcome the trials and tribulations of the cross. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us deny ourselves in order for us to be able to take up our crosses and follow the one who has walked the painful journey of the way of the cross. And through faith and love will also conquer the difficulties of the way of the cross of our lives. God has a purpose for your pain. God has a purpose for your struggle. God has a reward for your faithfulness. Trust Him and bear the cross. 
Amen.